Welcome back to the channel. This time we're taking you to the NEC for the Motorhome and Caravan Show. We'll be meeting up with friends, and as per usual for us, at some point we'll be tucking into some food. Why are you me? It's not the only thing I'm wearing of yours. Come to the NEC, she said, it'll be fun. <laughs> I can't wait! So, whilst I've been busy at work, what have you discovered in the uh, very much affordable section here? I haven't found the affordable section yet. Okay. But I have found lots of things I like the look of. Mm -hmm. uh, Morello is down that way. And I do quite like the, the Neesman. There's one with a dark roof. Uh, I do like it because I also am a massive fan of Biscoff. <laughs> so on that basis alone, I want one of these. Okay, let's have a look. We're heading into Swiftland. If you watch the channel, you'll know we are Swift owners on a Swift vehicle number two. So let's go and see what we can see. So this would be the equivalent of ours now. So this is the 894, but this is the high line and ours is the low line. So we obviously don't have the drop down bed. We don't have the six berth, ours is four berth, but inside they have made some really nice adjustments that I would really like, such as the drawers. However, the step's gone. And I do love my electric step. Okay, I've finally got this Swift myself. I do really like these sofas. And I really like this flap as well. And the drawers are like absolute delight. That's what we need in ours is drawers. Oh, and a custom made bowl. That's interesting. We've had to buy ours. Hey, it's pretty big inside. noticed it looks like the reversing camera is going to be a little bit higher okay so this is in the flesh it's definitely higher proportionately than on our van but I'd say it's still not high enough but no window no but you can still damage your van if your reversing camera isn't high enough to actually give representation of where the top of your van is as we know So let's have a look at this one then, the 874. Ah oh, no, this is the one. Oh, it does come in different configurations with a sidewood transverse bed, if you will. Yeah, I think we're still better well with what we've got. On the um, the latest batch of Contigu, I do like the garage arrangement. Um, very spacious. Metal Lots of little cubby holes. Lots of... Um, Lots. Hooks, handy, always handy. And. Yeah, and what I do like is this cheeky little locker. I assume it's gone out. Little pull out locker here. And so ours has one of these, but this, uh, the new range, has two of the underslung lockers. So just an extra little bit of storage. That's a good wet locker, isn't it, that one? Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Have you seen anything that you would might replace our van with? No, I actually would say I would just keep ours. Overall, I would not swap our van for any of these Swiss here. No. But some of the new ones do have some nice little gadgets and little features. Come and show and me. Also, what I have noticed on these Swiss, uh, they all have the back window intact. Let's move on, shall we? So what do we make of the new Ford cab? I really don't like the aerials that stick up out the front. I'm just old fashioned maybe, but I prefer the Ducato cab. What do you think? Do you mind this aerial? It just reminds me of back in the day when all cars used to have aerials like this. I'm just not a fan. 
We looked at the Axie card and the guy on the stand was very, very entertaining, but I just don't think it's going to work for us because we don't really stay on sites. Whereas Park for Nights, on the other hand, we use all the time and it's absolutely brilliant. Great value for money. One of the things I do like on the A class is these mirrors. Now, what I'm interested to know is on um, a lot of HGVs now, you have the uh, inbuilt monitors and no mirrors at all, just cameras. So when is the first manufacturer going to do that for a motorhome? And we'll just have internal um, monitors, which will mean all the, uh, the weather and misting will just never happen. It just disappears. And right next door to McKay Pet Supplies, we've got the fire safety stick, um, which again, if you've watched our videos, you'll have seen we've got one of these in the van, and I'll stick our 10% discount code link in the description and on the screen as well, because you can save yourself a nice 10%, and they are absolutely fantastic, it's such a great idea. Off he goes, look, you've seen the chocks, the Malenko, what we think we need are these Quattro ones. But, do we think it's going to work? Well, we measured ours earlier, didn't we? Yeah. And we reckon it was about 14 centimetres. Yeah. And so, that's 18, but it does look a lot bigger, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah. Does it? Does it look bigger? <laughs> I think it's, it's, just, I think it's just the angle. It's just the angle. <laughs> um, I don't know. Does it look bigger? I have spied two great things next door to each other. Some gluten-free free flapjack and the happy caravaner who is super busy. So Teresa looks like she's having a great show. Absolutely love her stuff. Just found my favourite stand, the happy caravaner, Teresa, and she's got Christmas cards now. So have a look on the website if you haven't been here um, at the NEC for this show. There's four different designs, um, but I chose this one because it's my favourite. Uh, we've got leisurebedding.com here as well and they've got some towels this time which look pretty good so ah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow because he's wandered off again he's left me where is he there he is now what's he looking at this is the one that we've got for our um, pro cook 3 so we can cook anywhere super super handy Really, really great. I'm glad we got that. I'm intrigued by by these. Has anybody got one of these? Because they look like they are the one. I found the My Rider stand, and I saw that they were saying they'd brought some ex demonstrator bikes that they got some good money off deals on. I still think they're going to be one out of our price range, but we're going to have a look. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, the weather's horrendous, but that was quite a successful first afternoon. Can't wait to go back and look at some more vans tomorrow. Most importantly, I bought some cheese from the Great British Cheese Company, so I'm happy. All right, everyone, everyone calm down. As it's always a good night out in Birmingham, we met up with our son as he lives close by and it was his birthday the following day, so we treated him to a traditional Toby Carvery, his favourite. Right, so I'm your presents. <laughs> 26 tomorrow. Right, it's Saturday morning, the show's open. It's going to be a busy one. We're just waiting for, look, can you see them? They're coming, they're coming. We're Apparently going to have to move 10, up the way. Apparently 10,000 more people than yesterday. So come on, let's get in. Right, I just want to draw something to your attention. Did you, I know you got up late this morning. Well, in fact, I had to wake you up this morning. Which didn't happen. Because it certainly, most certainly did. Anyway, why? Why are you me? Huh? It's not the only thing I'm wearing of yours. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have a quick look in this chic e-line. Lots of numbers and letters. Wow, this is very chic. Look at the dials. 
very classy. I love the barometer. Nice round table. The leather smells amazing. Slide out storage carry. Oh, can't do the locks. Can't do the lock. Kitchen area. Ah, this has an oven, which I believe is quite rare. So what's your favourite part of this motorhome? I think I found it. Yep. Without question of a doubt, mm -hmm. the number one feature on this motorhome yeah. I love. Oh, I love a kitchen. Yeah. What? Uh, okay. It's a coffee machine, isn't it? I do like this uh, tap as well. That's, oh, that's the dream. And let's have a quick look in here. So, very spacious bedroom. Feels massive in here. Really spacious. I love the fact that the bed seats go up as well, like that. So you can sit up in bed and have your cup of tea. TV. And then... Oh look, they've even got space for a toilet brush, which I absolutely am not a fan of, if I'm honest. Um, but a very deceptively large bathroom with all those mirrors. And then... Okay, so that will close. And then... Oh, your shower's... Oh gosh, that's why it's so it feels so big, because your shower is literally in your bedroom. That's a bit strange. Um, oh, and then you've got this wooden floor panel that lifts up. That's sort of quite cool for keeping the shower tray safe, I suppose, but it does feel like your shower is right in your bedroom. Yeah, that's a bit strange. The lounge area is great, and the extra room you get with the A-class does seem quite nice and spacious, but I don't know. I don't know. Still doesn't feel as big as our van. I think our van still feels a bit more spacious, don't you? At the front there? I don't really like the shower. It's right in your bedroom. Yeah, I mean... It's right in your bedroom. We we didn't end up with our van by accident. The layout is perfect for us. I think it will be hard to beat it. Yeah. I'm not suggesting you can't upgrade the luxury and mm, the fittings. Yeah. In terms of layout, yeah, we're going to struggle to beat it. Out. Yeah. For us. Yeah. We're looking at van similar to ours to see if we would be tempted to change. The garage is probably a similar size to ours. And the layout is similar-ish, but of course it's the A-class. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I like the seats. Quite a dark leather or leather-like interior. Drop-down bed up at the front here. This is definitely not the same level of interior as we've just been looking at in the Cathargo, or Cathargo, funnily enough. I kind of like the simple clean lines in here, but you don't get that luxury feel that you had before. Um, very similar island bed to ours. Bedroom feels fairly roomy, but let's do the bathroom test, well the shower room test. So at least you've got this Okay, slightly further away from the foot of your bed in terms of having this wall. So you've got your toilet in there. That's quite quite nice and spacious. I'm not sure about the um, radiator in there. And then you've got your shower here. So, reasonably decent sized shower and a bit more separation. So I'm kind of a fan of that. That's that's pretty good. The LED is quite sh quite uh, bright and then I see there we go you can separate off the rooms comme ça so actually I think I slightly prefer shower toilet bedroom configuration actually than in the last van but yes yeah, definitely lacks the toys the gadgets um mm. yeah from the last van but yeah interesting interesting right now we've come to look at the Adria so this is a supersonic 890LC. It's looking quite nice from the outside. I'm still not sure about this front end. But let's go and have a look inside. Mmm, get that leather smell when you come in. Another drop down bed. Nice comfy driving seats there. Oh, now the kitchen does feel a bit of me. Look at these drawers. Oh, I love a drawer. That's definitely one thing that I would swap in our motorhome in a heartbeat. 
Definitely. Oh, optional coffee machine there for you, Mr. Hill. Is that? Optional. Oh, it's yeah. optional. Uh-huh. It's optional. I like the curved cupboards. Even that. This is a bit strange, though, this cooking arrangement, because I do like to cook. So we've got this tiny little oven thing. What's this? Oh, a cupboard. I do wonder if we, need, if we got a shelf like this in ours. Yeah. If there's somewhere we can put that and then... Pop us in the, does anybody know where we can get a shelf like that for our coffee machine? Let us know. Pop it in the comments if you know of any suppliers. That would be really useful. Back to the kitchen. Oh, a huge cupboard. That's a really handy hanging cupboard. But yeah, I do like to cook and I don't think that's quite going to cut the mustard, frankly. What you, is that a grill? Is it an oven? It's tiny. Yeah, that's not, that's not the one. Adria. Obviously, don't focus that massively on cooking in the van. And three little burners there. I do like this sink arrangement. And again, you've got another nice flashy tap. Moving through to the bedroom. Ooh, they call this a spa-style bathroom, and I quite like this little handle that I can't seem to open. Ooh, there we go. It is very much a sauna spa-style that's nice. That's very luxurious. Very luxurious feeling. And hooks. You could never have enough hooks. And then into the toilet. Very nice. Very um. Very nice feel to that. And little hidden cupboards there. So hello. Uh, full length mirror there. That gives a real sense of space. Uh, and, and it's not too bad, the space between the bedroom and uh, the shower room. And, oh, we've got these doors for the extra separation. Okay, I like it. I like it. Oh, good cupboard, nice use of space there on the angle. I don't really know what's going on with this, though, on the walls. It's... I don't even know how to describe it. The material on the walls, not a massive fan of that. Bed looks nice and cosy, USB sockets, nice and bright and airy, curved cupboards. But yeah, I'm not a massive fan of this weird wallpapery stuff. Um, oh, bed up and down. Oh, oh, I see. So the bed comes forward more when you lay it back down. Okay, interesting. Um, and then... I do like this separation though, that's clever. That's nice. I like that. This just feels like a really sturdy van. Yeah, I'm a fan of this one. Massive fan. This also has a huge garage as well in this van, this supersonic. I really like this one, and this one I definitely would consider. Oh, would you? Yeah, but I really don't like the material on the wall in the bedroom. Oh, uh, that's speckledy. Yeah, it's horrible. Okay. <laughs> Not a fan of that. Okay. Uh, but everything else, very nice. Is it within your price range? Oh, absolutely. And then what's your budget? Oh, my budget. I mean, yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> take, take, a, take a digit off the end. So even with it being the A-class, could you have... Um, I could even be persuaded. Yeah? yeah I could even be persuaded. I, and I'm not an A-class front fan, as you know, but I do like it. But just not that weird material. Oh, actually, it's on the walls in the, in the front as well. It's just a bit weird. This. All in all, we decided that our Swift Contiki 650 is still the only van for us. Which is fantastic news. It meant I didn't have to spend any money. So we jumped in the van and we headed off to our pub stopover. We arrived in the car park and after the torrential rain I moored the van up safely, minding the trees as I reversed in. We don't want to damage the rear window. Oh! Now when I said I didn't spend any money, what I meant was I spent my money on a whole Biscoff cheesecake. 